Uh, you guys are watching the Honor Show, and we're sitting here with the legendary Lil Drug Stone. How's it going today, fam? It's all good, baby. Shouts out to the Honor Show. I appreciate it. I really do. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, I'm glad to get you on the show. I'm excited about this. I've been listening to your music and seeing your freestyles on, on social media. I'm like, man, this dude got the bars. And in, in, in the beats you use, too, I like them. You, you know, you got that old school rap style that I like, that I grew up with. And it, that, that's, that's, what what, I, that's what got my that's attention. What I go for. That's what I go for. I appreciate that. Definitely. Yeah, to the fullest, man, to the fullest. I guess we'll start with, uh, where did you grow up? Right in Detroit? Yeah, right in Detroit. I'm from a little part of Detroit called Highland Park. Okay. But then I moved over on the west side. And now I'm over on the east side. I'm all around Detroit, definitely. Nice. 313 for sure. Nice. So you're all over Detroit. You're known on the east and west. All over southwest, yeah. east, west, Highland Park, nice. all that. Definitely. Now, now I've heard of Highland Park. Is uh, Young Miles, is he from Highland Park or something like that? Yeah. 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 I think he went to Highland Park High School, too. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I just remember yeah. that because I seen in a video he had that HP chain. I was like, oh, that's Highland yeah. Park. All right. That's Highland Park right there, baby. Hell yeah. It's small, but we, it's small, but we get out there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah. Um, what, what, how was life growing up? What was life like as a kid? Man, I, it was like I got about 20 cousins on each side, so that's how I was everywhere in southwest west side big rapids hey. uh, out of town arizona i it's like everywhere i've been oh. everywhere and just traveling and chilling with my cousins because i was the only child so when you're only child you know you get with your cousins and all your little family and you know you get out there right. it was everywhere yes that's cool. It sounds like you had a good time. Like, like you had a lot of family around you, people to support yeah. you. Man, that's Ruby, important. Ruby. That's Ruby. cool, man. Who, who do you think you looked up to the most back then? Back then, as far as music? Yeah. Yep. Man, I'm, I ain't going to tell you. And no lie, all my life, my favorite rapper been E-40. Yeah. He's just, he just different. He His style different, and he just... And I've been in, like, you know, in the streets. He, he helped yeah. me get through some situations. You know, that's the type of music I'll be listening to for real. Right? Dude, yeah. he's smart. E-40 is smart, and his shit is complex. Like, it's like you, you people really got to break it down and, and think about yeah. two, three different things he might be mean. And he, he's a smart cat. Man, he be, he's still dropping shit. I've been off E-40 to click all of them since right. a little, little. Yes. But but I like a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people influence my me and my style. I like all the gen, like genres, like yes. East Coast, West Coast, down south. As long as it's sweet, I'm definitely messing with it. Definitely. Right. right. As long as it's that authentic hip hop, I'm down with it. As long as people yeah. are, you know, putting their heart into it and it's really that shit, yeah, I'll support it. Definitely, definitely. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I'm out with my peoples on the East Coast, too. The Wave Gang, Dane Grease them. Yep, out there rooted on the East Coast. A lot of music with him. Bigger. AZ, my boy Mo and AZ. I'll be trying to go all around the world with it. Definitely. Yes, that's dope. That's dope, man. It's, I know you're a legendary MC where you're from. You're well-respected all around in every circle it's it you're yeah, that's how it's close like yeah he's actually gonna be on here because you're a legendary dude yourself so oh yeah i drop bars man i drop bars so yes hey i drop bars straight that's bars it. that's it yes yeah, that's it and it's and it's real shit like when i listen to you i'm like cool this ain't no made up shit this is real shit like this is stuff you could tell it's it, it just comes right to you because you've seen it every day you've lived that that's you know? That's the key right there. When you writing, I wouldn't try to write no other kind of dance music and I'm not saying nothing wrong with that, mm -hmm. but that ain't where I come from. And it's like, come out natural to me. You could just 
in pain itself. Right. Really, you just got to know how to say it. You yes. got to know how to say it. Yes, I yeah. like that. I like that, man. Yeah. Did, how was school for you growing up? Did you like school? Now, school, <laughs> I was, like I said, I was in the street, so I got kicked out of all Detroit public schools in, like, the ninth grade. Wow. I was I was jumping around. Went from Highland Park to the west side of West Side School, then got in. I just was running around in the streets, just running around, man. Right? Wow. Yeah. Cool. I love it. I go to school to skip into school and hey, hey, but class. <laughs> and but the funny part about it is when I grew up and you know I went back to college and wow. started yep, started doing my college thing. Hell yeah. It took a minute, but I went back and did that. Hey, congratulations, man. That it takes guts to go back and do yeah. something, you know, and, and redo it. Man, it takes guts. That, that's congrats, man. That that that's Appreciate dope. It. it was growth, growth. You gotta yeah. grow. You gotta grow out here. Right. You got to. Right. At some point, same with me. I got my GED when I was in prison at one point, and I was like, man, I gotta grow up. I gotta, you know. It ain't no choice. The world will make you grow up. Definitely. Right. They will make you <laughs> <laughs> or take you out. The one of the two. I right. want to still be here. You're either gonna sink or swim, and man, hey. Yeah. I'm Definitely, especially in Detroit, boy. Right. I was gonna ask Stretchy. you: Is it? Is it? Uh, you know, it is. It's not just a cliche. It, it's Detroit. To, is it a hard city to to grow up in and to make it in? Yes, Detroit is really. I don't even know how to explain. Like, say, out of town, it says out of town is come. We want to party with you and party with you and all that. But the minute you look at us, like. We fans or something, <laughs> things go bad. It go all bad. But we love y'all. You know, they come, we love them. Hey, part of party. Hey. As soon as they treat us like fans and all that, it's hey. okay. uh -uh. But you, you do really want to know somebody if you come. Like, not to the point where you just get hurt every time, but right. if you want to move around in the spots that you rap about and you say you want to move around in. Right. Yeah, it's real. It's best to know somebody for sure. Right. Real. Real talk. That, that's that probably in every city, though. That's probably in every city, but sure. But Detroit, move, but Detroit's a little bit city, special in some of them areas, though. Detroit's a little bit more. It ain't a little bit. It <laughs> right. Bit. Detroit's just it more. Ain't a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, it though. I love Detroit, baby. I love it. I love it. Hell yeah, crazy. definitely. Uh, hell yeah, that's awesome. That's good to 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 love where you're from, with the good and the bad. Because you know when when people love where they're from, they they you know more people start taking care of shit and like you know yeah, and they have a you know community and shit. And it's yeah. I I know yeah, like all, oh go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Oh, I said, well, all the young, the young rappers that's coming out now too, the, the Skiller Baby T Grizzly and Sai all them, they coming together now. Yes. They growing up and yes. putting all that street shit to the side, like they showing up out of town at the uh at the big things together. Yes. I like I like that too. I yeah. Like oh I yeah, that's put you straight on the map. Right. Yeah. Unity. There's strength yeah. in numbers, and you know. Definitely. Hell yeah. I mean. Don't get me wrong, like a lot of these cats do be really having personal problems. So right. if y'all got a personal problem, that's, you know, keep, that's your person. Once you start bringing crews and family and right. putting it in music and all that, then it's social media. Now somebody don't want to get punked and nice. It's, you be the lost your whole career over that before right. you even got started. <laughs> right. It's right, man, and it makes no say, sense. But it takes take growth, though. It do take growth. Once you're young with a lot of money and all that, you ain't thinking right. Nope. <laughs> it's no. party time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And egos and pride and, you know, shit. I remember when I was young, it was hard to let shit go. Or if I felt yeah. my pride got hurt or so, somebody did something to me and people know about man i, I gotta do something because motherfuckers know about that i can't let this slide and in some ways it's you know you can't just let things slide but 
I could have handled things differently in a lot of ways yeah. too, and still had my pride intact and been like, right. that was equitable. <laughs> right, right. That's the truth. Cause that's, it's triple worse now with the social media. All you gotta right. do is jump somebody, video it and put it up on social media. Now they gotta do something. They, everybody, is, they gotta grow for take growth. Right. That's all. It does. That's all. It takes a lot of growth. Um, who, uh, do you remember when, or how, how old were you when you first started writing rhymes? I was a little kid, probably about no, no younger than 12, no older than 14. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, he was a kid then doing that. Do you remember what any of your first rhymes were about or what your first rhyme was? Ooh, I don't. But what's funny is my 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 brother DJ Win Win J from Highland Park. He just died. R. I. P. Oh, I'm sorry he to hear that. Rest in peace, man. He remember everything, like everything. What we used to wear. He had all the pictures and all that. Wow. And if he was if he was alive, he would definitely make me remember what it was. Cause I was wow. around him. That's how long we've been together. Wow. But I can't remember. It's been a long time. And I do smoke a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you me know, too. If, if it was no tape back then and I ain't find the tape, I probably can't remember it. Right. <laughs> hey, that's all right. I know that's a long shot asking people what their first drug was <laughs> and shit, but I, you know. <laughs> I got new ones, though. I got new ones. That's it. I got new yeah. ones. Yeah. Yes. Keep new ones. Yes, and I love them. I love all of them. I'm just, like every day I listen to a little more, and I'm like, damn, like I ain't heard one song yet where I was like, man, he's lacking. Never. Like you're always I on point with it. the bars. I appreciate it because I take pride. I I still sit down with a pencil and a pad and yes. write. If yeah. I don't like, I erase and go back and right. read it. Like, well, uh, I'm wait, man. Let me do that. I still literally. Yes. Care about what I'm writing, like every little. I wanted to come out right. Yeah. And what I really meant to say and how I felt. That's how I wanted to come out. Right. That right. Way. See, I love that. I love like you take your time. You put your heart and soul into it. You care about the music that you're putting right. out. It ain't just like a job to your. All right, I, I I'm doing that. You actually love the music. Yes, lo oh, I'm talking about my. my my daddy was a, my daddy still DJ now. Really? He he and my little brother. I was on job. I had a little brother. He rap. He do music like it's instilled in us from yes, yes. It's instilled in us, literally instilled in us. Nice. Music been around us all my life, definitely. That's awesome. I love that. Um, what's uh? It's one thing to write. How did you? Like, cause I, when I was a kid, I, like, I wrote some rhymes and some poetry and stuff. So it's one thing to write, but how did you transition into actually recording and, and making songs and, and performing? It was really life. Like it went from, like you said, as kids writing poetry and poems mm -hmm. to Going to middle school, we really going up to other middle schools, fighting and brawling and all that, <laughs> and doing this. So now it can't be poetry. We can't go write poetry after that. Right. We gotta write a song. We yeah. gotta really tell what happened, and it just elevated. That's all it was. Grew up, but it did come from that, like in class, writing the little poem for the teacher, all yeah. that. Yeah, it definitely rooted from that. Definitely. Right. Right. The transition, I guess, was as we grew up. Then music came out, hip hop. Okay, yeah. Now we can rap over a beat. They doing right. it, we can do it. Right. He was literally with records and steel back strap, all that sampler, SK one, all that, all that. Back in the day, we fell in love with it. Literally, right. literally. Yes, I I love hearing that. I because I love music like that too. It. it it yeah. does something for me. It just like I don't play an instrument and I don't rap myself, but I just 
feel it in me. Like each song, I just, I love. It. I gotta have music, or I won't survive. Yes. Like I will not I'm, make it. All genres. Like I listen to slow music, R and B. I'm talking about music. I love some music. Yes. I love some music. Yeah, good music. Yes. Right. That's why I love hearing you talk about how much you love it like that. Cause it's, it's, you know, when somebody really loves it, you, you know, you can tell and it, it's, it's just so dope. Um, let's hear who, uh, tell us uh, how, yeah. Tell, tell us how you picked the name little drug Stowe, or is that a name that was given to you? Nope. It's just, uh, it's like, you know, back in the day you come from my era. Yeah. A dope. It was like a dope MC dope. Little drug. Yeah. Yes. That's that just saying I'm the dope and dope a dope MC is it means you cold. Yeah. So I'm the little drugs though. Yeah. So oh no. Yes. That's all I'm it can't I made it up. Yes. It <laughs> I love it. That back in the day when, when rap names meant something real. That, and people exactly. actually thought about it. I'm yeah. glad you asked that because a lot of people and that's the meaning behind a dope MC that love drugs stuff. Now if you think about it, like damn, he just saying he dope. Yeah, the whole, the whole, yeah. not just the bag, the whole stove. Everything you need, I got it. Yes, yeah, I love that. <laughs> that's cool. Did 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 you ever have any other names, or did you decide on that first? Hmm. Nah, that was it. Okay. That was it. Cool. I just was rapping. I, it wasn't, you know, I just was rapping. I didn't take it as serious enough to come. I was watching the videos and just yeah. rapping. Right. I just, until I came in, let's say about the ninth, maybe the ninth or tenth, when I started moving around the streets, coming up with, you know, a little money, like, shit, I'm going to go to the studio. Yes. And take it serious, like I'm gonna go drop some. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna try it out. Yes. Everybody, everybody wouldn't. I like to, like, say if I upload my music, I like to upload it to everybody I don't know first, instead yeah. of sending it to my friends first. So I get it. Like, I mean, that's just me, an honest opinion from somebody I don't know. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. your friends might be like, nigga, anyway, you know. Yeah, sure. Your people, they supposed to. Right. But I just be want an honest opinion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I send it out to everybody I don't know, put it on the social medias. Then I hit my boys off in a group text, like, yeah, nigga. Yeah. This hot already. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That's a good idea, yeah. though. And then, plus, you yeah. know, you're getting a whole different demographic of people you don't know yeah. listening and shit. That, that's yeah. smart, man. That's smart. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's why I try to do music. Down South music, West Coast music, East Coast music. Oh, yeah. All that, like, you know, yeah. nigga want me on an R&B song and need a verse. As long as it's cold, I need a verse. Yeah. It'll be cold, too. Yeah. I guarantee it, because all your verses are yeah. cold. Like, I, I ain't heard one yet. And what impresses me, too, is, you you know, your freestyle ability, too. You could just get on there and kick it and kick bars and keep on a beat like there's that one song you're doing where there's like this little what? every few seconds and shit and you're like man it was it was dope i love what the fuck did you say I about oh. damn i can't remember now that i'm on the spot too but i was just i was like damn that was a hot line i'll probably think of it before this shit's through but um <laughs> do you think mainstream hip-hop these days is losing authenticity like with some of the some of the mainstream shit. As far as um, I see, I don't take away from nobody. Okay. And I entertainment like is entertainment. Sure. So for what they doing, it's entertainment. Is I I I I can dig it. I wouldn't even dig. You know, uh, some other kind of person, hip hop dancer nigga. I mean, excuse my line, there's some dude rapping about some gangster stuff. Sure. If you rapping about and just doing what you do, like like nowadays, like you said, the all I still write with Prince people just go in there and just say a bar and say stop. Say right. a bar record. Yeah. I ain't gonna take nothing away from them. If the song come out sweet, it's sweet. Right. Good 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 shit, young dog. As long as the song come out sweet, 
but <laughs> once you're doing it to the point where you just doing it because they doing it and it don't even sound right right like you ain't even on beat right i, I personally i personally can't dig that at all like, right no nah, i, I right. can't get with it i can't right okay right. 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 you gotta ride the beat and say something that's just for me right and it don't matter like you like i say 40 my favorite rap it don't matter if you rap different right you killing it you doing your thing you right. talking that shit i want to hear hey right hey throw that on right throw that on right. <laughs> for real yeah and i ain't even and i don't even turn around and rap like that i just like him for rapping yeah. like that i rap like i rap still hell yeah Oh yeah. yeah, that's dope. I, I like that. That was a good answer, man. Um, tell us about some of the projects that you have out right now. Some of your new music uh, that you got out. The music. Mm -hmm. Um, I got some some stuff coming out. Like what I said with my wave game, people. I don't know if y'all hit the Dame Grease. Okay. They did the beat for Max B and all that. The wave game. Yeah. Nice. The DMX did the DMX song. Yeah. Yes. That's my brother right there. So Woo. that's when, when I say wave gang, that's what I'm talking about. Us, my New York set. And nice. I got a lot of music coming out with them right now. Uh, I'm doing a lot of little freestyle, little solo. But you know what we do got going on? Y'all can follow Underground Team KO. We got a boxing underground network going on. So if you see on the internet, the two-on-two -two fights, we the originators of that. Really? We started that. Yeah. Cameron, Cameron, them then reposted it. Uh, Snoop Dogg just reposted it. Y'all go check on the other day. Two on two fight. We the originators. Go yeah. follow Underground Team KL 313. That's what we doing now. And we got the special coming out on Tubi. It should be this month or next month. Nice. Nice. Yeah, got a lot of got a lot of stuff going on and still got videos and new music coming up. Hey yes. yes. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Cause that's more stuff to look forward to that you're involved. Because I know if you're in it, you're you're gonna make things good. You're gonna make sure songs got bars. You're gonna make sure anything that's going on is gonna be real entertainment and, and good shit. So I, I yeah. I'm down with it. I'm with it, brother. I wrote it down and everything. Underground Team KO. I'm gonna go check it out right tonight. Underground file and then with the, the two B special we coming out, it got my music all through it. So Yes. Yes. We rock. Hell we yeah. Rockin'. Yes. I love it. <laughs> um have you ever been into trouble with the law at all? And that's kind of a personal question. I don't need to know details or nothing, but Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Me and my right hand man, shout out to CJ. Man, we didn't been through it. We didn't <laughs> been through it. Like we didn't been through it. We ain't gonna say yeah. we was the goodest people, but now we grew our heads on. That's why I run Team KO with me, him, and Lady Mayweather. But we didn't what the truth. And as crooked as they is, they criminals too. Right. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> but the police. What we done been into? What that's all we. <laughs> but nothing, but nothing major like sure. prison and all that. Right. You no, know, bless, bless. Hell yeah. But we have been, you know, in and out doing court dates and all that. Yeah, right. We been through that. Yeah, <laughs> that's nothing. I wouldn't have had that. You can go. It's records. You can. Hey. Right. I'm here, like I said, growth. It's growth. We grew. We right. Good. We're trying to run the entertainment business. We're trying to keep on our toes, do everything legit way. That's it. I'm yeah. just learning because this is the new wave. Yeah. So I got to stay here. Got to yes. stay here. So that's kind of what new wave means. they your new wave gang and shit. Yeah. Yeah. New wave. That's See, it all has meaning. I knew it. <laughs> That's why I was glad to ask you some of this stuff because I wanted to, I'm like, what's that new wave gang about? What's Team KO? And what, tell me about your rap name and shit. That I'm, this is, See, this is why I love doing these interviews because I listen to your songs and I listen to you and I, I wonder these things and like, it's so cool to be able to put it all into context. It makes it, right. your music even right. better now. You know what I mean? Make it make sense. It make it make sense. Yeah. And now it's like, wow. And then hearing about your life and shit, it, it just makes it all fall into place. And it makes it extra cool. So that's definitely. Dope. 
Um, what would you say hip hop has done positive for you? Hip hop done so much positive for me because yes. when I'm in my music space, I ain't in the streets doing the stupid shit I ain't supposed to be doing. <laughs> right. So hip hop will make you just get mad, probably grab a blunt, listen to the good music, and roll around a couple times. Like I'm taking my ass back in the crib right now. I ain't on high fuck what y'all talking about. Right. But hip hop down there, you could say save my life for real. It's yes. The streets was called Detroit. It, it ain't no hiding from the streets at all. Right. At all. At all. They're right there. You're in them. Yeah. If I wasn't so serious, like I did, it was like two halves, like the streets, but I still was serious about this music. I was serious. So at times, I could have been doing other shit. I was doing this shit because I'm so serious about I break off from the homies and really right. go do my music, go do a video because I'm still serious about this shit. Yes. Just as serious as I am about that, I'm serious about this. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's real life. Real life. Um, Definitely. What do you love most about music? Man, I love... <laughs> when I say everything, it could be walking downtown and you beating on the wall and somebody ripping some... Yeah. I'm like, okay, let's get it, baby. Yeah. Man. Music, that's what I'm saying, is my, to me, is my life, like, yes, music, music, slow music, reggae music, yes. hip-hop, like, music, music, because my daddy, a Rastafari, so oh, he, yes. still, he still smokes, so when I go over his house, as soon as I hit the door, he rolling up, yeah, don't let him fool you, oh, no, all you hearing is, yeah, the Jamaican and this, I'm loving it, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Culture. It's sinking in, it's sinking in all tight. Yeah. I love music. I love music, definitely. It's so cool, love, man. I don't think I never stop. I let my voice just go out. Yes. I hope it don't, but I don't think I never stop I'm gonna teach my sons and if they wanna do it, y'all should do it. I got in my own studio. That yes. can be your studio. If y'all don't wanna do it, make some money, charge y'all friends an hour. Right. Learn how to work this shit. It's yeah. just all down in the everything the DNA. Right. Hell yeah. yeah. And that's awesome. You got something you're passing on to your kids, a legacy. That that's yeah. third generation now. Or even more, because your dad, you and on to your children. That man, that's dope. That yeah. that's super dope. Yeah. Congratulations, man. That's a blessing. It's I a blessing. Appreciate it. Be trying, just gotta get like we all was kids. I understand them, they don't listen sometimes. Right. I was a kid, I ain't listen. Yeah, just trying to keep them in the loop. Don't do right. nothing too wrong where it ain't no coming back from. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. I got you back. Tell you can tell me whatever. If it's that bad, I go down there and say, I did it. Right, Period. right. If you learn your lesson and you say, Hey, I messed up my dad, wherever I can't do nothing no more. If you do right. that, it's all good. Right. But yeah, I try to keep keep that instilled in them. Like you can tell me anything or whatever. Yes. Don't let the streets raise you. I'll raise you. Right. I tell you if it's right or wrong. If you gotta get chastised, you got to. Right, right. Right. And I chastise you, so hey. Right. Here and dude, is. that's cool. I... Right, right. And, dude, I can yeah. tell that you're involved and that you're a good dad because that's the same exact thing I tell my son. Like, you know, I get it. You're going to do things, but you can always tell me I ain't ever going to come at you or hit you over the head over something you came to me with like that. I need help. I'm right. up. Like, I'm going to help right. you. And hopefully yeah. it ain't something so bad that, like you said, it's like, I'll go. I'll right. take oh, care of it. No, not that. I, mean, I got yeah. this. But damn it, it's like even if it's the worst <laughs> thing you can think of, we'll, right. we'll iron it out, bro. Like, <laughs> that's what dads do. You, well, yeah, I'll try to fix it. Definitely. Hell yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> do you have any? What advice would you give to uh young people that maybe want to break into the music industry? Man, I would say. 
if you if you really want to get into the music just just do i me personally mm. would say do you i mean i understand you hear people you want to be like and hear people you sure you you know sound and like they stuff sure but at the end of the day you got to be accepted for you you can't get paid for being like somebody i mean you can but you always gonna be second hand yeah and music music and rap is really a genre of competition yes like everybody want to be number one right so you can never be number one if you're trying to be like somebody else right. that's just right. out the book you can't right so i would say really just be yourself do you it really don't matter if you the best rapper or all that if you're trying to entertain and be entertained do you go ahead but do you that's what i ask for do you yes. don't be like somebody else like i can't even tell if that's them or you right that ain't good to me right to me that ain't good so i would just say do you do your thing go hard hey focus on what you're doing if you got to do a half and half i know people still got to have jobs and you know still take do their stuff but if you want to do it go ahead and do it it's wide open anybody can do it yes. for real anybody can do it a good song don't necessarily mean the best rapper on it. Right. It could be a good slamming beat with a right. just a chorus that's out of this world and right. the whole world gonna be singing. Right. That's you. You do you doing you. Yeah. It could be another song with bars, bars, bars. Right. That's you. You right. doing you over there. It's, yes. it's just originality to me. Right. That's all. Right. Dude, that's that's Make one of the most Yeah, exactly. Original. And dude, the way you put it is one of the most powerful ways I've ever heard it in my life. You what you said you can never be number one if you're imitating somebody else. You could never right. be the greatest if you're trying to be somebody else because you ain't being you. Right. Like you can't they don't always you trying to be them, so they gonna yeah. always be in front of you. Right. And they're always I mean, gonna I be can't... better at being them. Yeah, not saying, you know what I'm saying, take look, uh, yeah. uh just period trying to be somebody do somebody's right. style on huh? it's no nah, nope. I mean not for me. Right. For me. Yes. Man. Do you love music? Go hard, work with the people that work with you. You ain't even gotta be out of here begging and in it. That's what I'm saying, and everybody in my all that uh, Right. Do your work and they gonna come to you. you do some good music they gonna find you trust right. me they gonna find you yes Definitely. yes i like that that's some good advice man i like that a lot um what if you could change anything and i know this is a big broad question but if you could just change one thing in the world anything what what would what would be one of the things you'd change in the world Hmm, that's a deep question right there. Right. That's real deep. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot that needs changing, man. That's a, that's a deep question. Deep. Right. I don't, right, I don't even know where to begin. Like, right. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I don't <laughs> Maybe. I mean, in reality, I mean, fairy tale land, I would say, I guess, our loved ones, like, we never perish. We never yes. R.I.P. Yes. Because I got luck. My, like, my mom in the hospital right now. And Me I'm, too, bro. My mom's in hospital like, right now. Man, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That yeah. hurt right there. That hurt. Definitely. So, I guess I have to roll with that one have to yeah I, I can't say give everybody money everybody <laughs> everybody have eight million dollars because their money won't be valuable won't be worth nothing if right everybody got it right i guess i'm gonna have to go with that one i i love ones i love ones i wish they could be here forever i know they are right but right in the physical form i wish they could right Definitely. right well, brother, my prayers will be out, be going out for your mom, and I'll, I'll same, go. same to you. Thank you, definitely. Man. Tell her I said, let y'all say prayers. 
I will. Special. And tell you yeah. too that the Don, dub at the honor show says God bless and I, I, she'll be in my prayers every night, bro. I told her about it. I'm like, I was coming from the, uh, where she was at, from Rio. Like, I got to go do an interview tonight. <laughs> hey. She's so supportive. She's like, go ahead, get out of here. Right? Our moms are yeah. best, man. They they really are. You can't, man. It, it makes it so tough, man. Because, But that's the way it's supposed to be. They ain't supposed to bury their kids. We're supposed to end up here. But it's still so hard. It's like, our, yeah. it's been my safety net all my life. And. All, right. always been there you know uh, i could i really got along great with my mom my whole life we're growing up me and my dad didn't get along so good at first for many many right. years but i could always tell my mom anything and yeah. it's still to this day I, and until the cancer started taking over her brain more like she she would call me every day just to talk and vent and talk to me about stuff and right and then we like me, I'm sitting there looking at her, and she's steady. Go, have a good time. I want to stay here with you, Phil. You took me from, a, I want to stay and take care of you. Right. No, you better go and get out of here. Like, they still <laughs> being mothers. Right. Still. It's yeah. amazing. Amazing. It is. God bless all of our mothers, man, for real. Definitely. Um, do you, oh, what we were talking earlier about how, uh, you know, some of the new rap where people ain't being authentic and it, it's, you know, you can just tell where it's, you know, the difference between somebody who really loves making their music and somebody mm. who really isn't. Do you feel, do, I, do you think that, you know, real rap and bars and stuff are, is making a comeback now? Yes. 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 Me too. They, it's, they, they really pushing all the other stuff out right now. Right. I ain't gonna say pushing it out, they calling them out on it. Yes. They really saying who can rap and who can't rap and right. Nah, that ain't it. This ain't it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I really I think it is. I, right. That's why I'm glad it is. Yes. I'm glad yes. it is. Me too. I'm glad it is. Me too. I, want, I mean, take a little minute to don't just take a minute to say something, golly, like a, <laughs> just one minute to think. One minute to think about something you say because right. some you say in real life, some you say can get you in trouble and you can't take it back. No, nope. take a minute to think about just a minute. It probably wouldn't be so many of these young rappers trying to kill each other. And take right. one minute, y'all in the videos with dead people, right? Posters and dancing with them, right. wild. shit. Like, are you serious? <laughs> right. It's like, crazy. One minute to think. Just one minute to think, please. Right. Even if it was that to that extreme, you don't got to be on there doing that. Right. Say something thought-provoking. Say something that's going to open somebody's mind or get somebody thinking about something like Pac did it. You know, like, that's what I loved about yeah. him is he would get you at least thinking about shit, you know? Yeah. Take one minute. He took one minute to think, so it make you think. Yeah, exactly. That's iron sharpens iron. Ain't no label. If y'all trying to get signed, ain't no label about this. What? Right. They not about to sign that in their mind. You think y'all gonna be deceased in a, a year? Right. <laughs> right. Right. Dude, the people got to realize these are businesses, big companies and yeah. businesses, and they're looking yeah. at long term. Is this going to pay out for me? Is this worth right. my investment? Right. That's, it's not. If you in there with, I, we probably can go back to, I don't know how far along, but just like I said, it's just me. You ain't, if you watch one of my videos, you ain't never seen me with a a, a, a weapon in my video. Like, right. it, I might talk about it all day, yeah. I'm going to do it, but if you sure. believe me, you believe me. If you don't, you don't. Right. I ain't going right. to stand myself out on the camera mm -mm. and then rap about killing somebody and right. then go do it. Right, right. And it actually fucking happened. That's crazy, right? And people it's, posting them videos on like social media, Facebook and YouTube and motherfucker. Like, I I watched this Gangland episode before where they were listening to rappers in San Diego, 
and and listening to to find out what their street names were and different things that had happened and they arrested a lot of motherfuckers off of this shit. You think if one video, one video got 30 guns in it, the feds ain't about to right. see what's up? Yeah, right. And they got beams and man, right. what are you? And it's, they it's want not. They know what's up. Right, man. right. And you, you can tell this, man, this shit ain't no props. <laughs> it's this. This shit's oh, iron. Oh, like you said, I'm glad real rap. As long as rap, rap coming right. back, that ain't got nothing to do with us rap. Right. Hey. I, 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 I love that, like, you know, the whole era of uh, just everything about the rap that we grew up on. Because I remember when I was six years old, I was on the bus in 1988. I was six and I was listening to this Christian rap tape my mom had got me because she didn't want me listening to secular music, I guess. And right. I, I was sitting on the bus and this older kid came up to me. He goes, what you listening to? And I was like, oh, this Christian rap tape. He goes, oh, can I listen to it? I'll let you listen to my tape. It's rap. And I was like, OK, what is it? He handed it to me. I still remember it's one of them green and yellow Memorex tapes. It was a dubbed tape. And it said Easy E, Easy Does It album. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even gotta say no more. No, <laughs> I had that same album. My mind was blown. That's blown. when, yeah, that's when the West Coast. It was all East Coast for me. Right when that started happening, I'm like, what? What? Right. I was like, what? what? <laughs> this is crazy. And I, yeah. I knew what some of the curse words were. But I didn't understand, like, when he's like, then I take the uh, the pussy, put it in the freezer so I can always have an on-hold skeezer. I'm like, what does he mean? Put it in the freezer. I, I was confused, but I was intrigued at the same time. I was like, I, I got to figure this out. That's, that's what I mean by do you. They did them. Yeah. They said all the West Coast stuff that we didn't even know what, what it meant. Right. But give it an album or two we went to them we went and found out what it right. they did them they didn't have to do no we went into them and found out oh, okay they talk oh okay right. balls, dickies. all right cool exactly they doing how they lifestyle was they didn't come out trying to imitate new york they right came out with jerry curls and dicky suits all that and they're like whoa what what's right. going on totally different and you know, totally speaking good. of that, an originality, think originally, Dr. Dre and Easy, when they started Ruthless Records, they were going to put have another group rap, and that group was from New York. But they, it just didn't yeah. fit right with them rapping about LA shit. It didn't jive. Right. And they were like, fuck it. You know, that. And then no, Easy became it. the rapper. And, do it, man. This, that's what I mean by, like, it's just the way you said it. If you really do it, damn near right itself. It's like yeah. you just, you just saying how you want it to come out and right. trying to put it in the coldest way possible that it twist their minds. Yeah, up. but it's damn near it, damn near writes itself. That's why you right. should write your kind of music and do you like I've been right. saying. People do that, right? They can because it it'd be easier. Right, and damn, they're right. They was all forties and chains, and yeah. So it came out. He like easy. You do it. This, you right. do it. Right. He might not know how to say it at first. They had to get him how to say it, but you know what to say. Yep. We do it every day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Can nobody be better at being you than you? And then you can, if you're number one, or if people saying you're number one, you can be like, hey, I might be number one. Right. I'm, I'm I might got this. Like I said, E-40, when I say that, it blow people mind. Because I ain't that kind of rapper. Right. I'm, you know, into my bars. But when I say my favorite rapper, E-40, it blow people mind. They be like, man. <laughs> Yeah, that boy got some go. Yeah, but people listen. who know, if you know, you know. E yeah. forty got man, he got some bars, and like it's just, it's different. It's 
He talk real Different. slick. Real yeah. slick talk. I you got to really pick up on it. Yeah. And that makes sense to me, though, that he would be your favorite rapper, or at least one of them, because you 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 rap the, the way you do it is smart and you got bars and and punchlines and metaphors and shit yeah. but so i could yeah. see cuz you you like i could tell you think you think a lot yeah and so yeah, that's that, why i say i still got a pen i take hey I, I say it two times and go back and change two words like no i want to yeah i got to say it like this right and i still be in front of the mic with my yeah, yeah, yeah. If I right. remembered it, like if I just wrote it and just going in, right. I'm in front of there with it, reading exactly everything I say. Yes. But if I didn't wrote it in Smokey Buns and memorized it, you're going to get an even better version because right. I said exactly how I want to say it. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's just I not something that, you went I in there that. and winged real quick. It was something you, you thought about and, and it was deliberate. I take the penmanship real serious. Just me, I take the bit like I can be writing about something I did it. I did, but the way I say it, yes, it just yes, we went into and robbed and shot. No, nah, it ain't. It ain't never gonna be that. It's gonna be some shit about it. Some definitely shit about it for sure. Yes, yes. I love it. Um, let's see. What did I have on there next? Oh. Is it do any other, do you have any knowledge that, you know, besides, I asked you earlier about if you had any advice for people breaking into the music industry, what about just some knowledge to kick to the youth, just uh, some good advice you wanted, that you would want to give to the youth out there listening? Just trying to get into it, what I do, I'm just going to tell y'all what I do. I, with, I use like this social media, mm -hmm. I don't just use it. Post, post, post. I try to like, use my head, so sure. I I go get a beat from a West Coast dude. I go get a beat from a down south dude. I go get yeah. East Coast dude. So what that do is once you do the song, then you put it out mm -hmm. and they repost it. Now you got fans in the West Coast. Yeah. Now you got fans in down south. Now you got fans on the East Coast because they reposting it to their fans. Networked. Nice. Yeah, I just try to make this social media and Instagram network. I try to do what it's supposed to do. Network. Yeah. Make it work for that's you. It. Yeah. That's what that's one thing I do do. I try to mess with people all around from everywhere. So you might have to go down and do a show one day somewhere where you didn't bought a beat and then networked with a dude. Yeah. And he like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's me. I'm down here. Come to the show. Now yeah. you straight, like you said, Detroit. Now you straight because you know somebody. Right. That know somebody. Yeah. That's how I mean that's how I do it. And that's right. how I network. Like Detroit is a tough place. You gotta probably know somebody. Right. Like not if you're super big and you come in with security and all that, right. you got a big spot, but you just can't be dipping off into the hood by yourself thinking no. it's all good. No, that's why I try to, yeah, I try to spread my wing. I got to check in social media everywhere from Canadian or overseas. I've met nice. with beat makers from every or people that do music. Like I do music sure. with people from everywhere, everywhere. Nice. So the people, whenever they come out, wherever they from, now the people know about me. I got right. a little name everywhere, all around, like the 50 states. I got a little name everywhere. Yes. I mean, that's how I try to do it. That'd right. Be... And I always yeah, seen your right. name popping up before, too, <clears throat> in circles and in rap circle, little drugstore. And I'd listen to this. I was like, man, this dude is ill. And I'd see it pop up some more over the years. Little drugstore, little drugs. I was like, and that's when I really started checking out. I was like, man, the dude must be ill if he's friends with and you know all these ill rappers that i listen to follow him he he must right. have so, so i started listening i was like yeah <laughs> hey yeah, <laughs> <Woo!"> <laughs> yeah. Been, i've been i've been in it i've been doing it for a minute got a lot of little foot like i don't far as i ain't saying i reach out sure but I just do my music. Yeah. I do my music. I ain't tripping on doing no music with nobody or nothing. Sure. But far as just, oh, let's do a song, let's do a song. Right. Oh, come on, and somebody out. 
Yeah. I don't, that's just me. Right. Um, I don't do that too much. I got a lot of little cool, like, yeah. My circle, everybody east, that's what I said, west, all that, it's, it's, it's cool. It's right. A cool little circle. Cool. Oh, yeah. Stand up dudes, 100%. I'm I'm promoting like at the same time they doing the same thing with me. The right. East Coast dudes, I do that. I get on it now. I'm reposting there as yeah. in Detroit. Now Detroit dudes up on them. It's the same yeah. thing. Same thing. Oh yeah, that was smart, man. That was really smart. Um, did you have you answered pretty much everything that I wanted to ask today? Did you have anything you wanted to add or? Uh, like I said, be on the lookout. I got a bunch of new music coming out, a bunch of videos. Do please go follow that underground team KO. Yeah. We got the two special coming out. We be having the fights, be the originators of them too. If y'all been seeing the two on two people doing two on two, we the originators of the two on two <laughs> fight. Go nice. check the page out. You can see the first one we posted, the originators. Yes. Uh that's all mute key music, big trade block. Big Wave Gang, Big Team KO, and Big Honor Show. I love y'all and appreciate y'all, man. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate y'all, definitely. Back at you, brother. I'm going to tell everybody to go follow y'all everything. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm always in the description, too. I'll put your uh, Instagram and your YouTube, and I'll put Team KO in there. That way people can... Click right here, that so everybody watching, you can go in the description and click right to the uh, the little drug stills page. Everybody subscribe, everybody get on there. This dude is legendary, and he's got the <laughs> bars. He's got the real rap. That shit that you're like, yeah, that's that, that's yeah. that shit, shit. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate it, man. I don't care. I just have one, two, three fans. I'm gonna keep giving them some shit. Right. Them two, three fans gonna be like, yeah, that nigga got that shit. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna be putting up some reviews of your music too. I'll do some shows on some of your songs and freestyles and shit and break I them down. It. I, anything I appreciate. Oh, yeah. We locked we locked in. Like anything you need from me, just let me know. Absolutely. Personally. Same I'm here, DM bro. my number, see. My, yeah. DM me my number. Hell yeah. You're good. Yeah. You anytime in Detroit, you super good. I promise you. Come yes. out to a show. We got the show. It go yeah. up. It's like one of the videos got. Is it 20 million views? Something wow. Like, it's something, wow. something like, like it's it's Woo! really blowing up right now. Really blowing up. That's like, cool. Dog cam them. A lot of people then just we didn't even tag them. They just found it and reposted it. That's when you know you yeah. got some. Like right. That's when you know. I don't you... know how they found it. I don't know how to, but they did. And they That's dope. Appreciate it. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Dude, th- yeah. I I really appreciate you being on the show too, and it it's truly been an honor. To have you on the honor show. And that's why I call it that. Because I'm trying to give flowers to the real rappers that are here. The real MCs keeping rap alive. You know. And, and really yeah. putting that real shit out there. And it, it's truly yeah. been just an honor to have you on here, man. I might drop some. What's today? Tuesday. I might drop a free, another freestyle. In the studio freestyle Friday or something. Hell yeah. You if I do. Hell yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask you. Would you be up to... Kicking a little quick freestyle right now, even a few bars. A few bars, okay, okay. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I ain't got no beat, but I'm just gonna talk to him a little bit. Yeah. Posted up, getting high in a spaceship, a product of my environment, guns and gang shit. God bless the life I lead. Fuck a fist fight, I stay ready to squeeze. Now my city talking about who the best is, who's the king of the DR, this East and West shit. Speak my name, gonna be talking about death shit. Silence on the 40, never know when death hit. Now let's talk drug money under the mattress. Kill us masked up, looking for that action. Come shop with us, them niggas be taxing. Plus my whole family eating, you can call up the Jacksons. Little drug store, third block assassin, the boss of all bosses, if anybody's axing. Stay on my job, we the mob, no lacking. Niggas wanna trip, give them the clip, no acting. Paper bring power, pussy, I push the packaging. As far as this rapping, nigga, I drop classics. 
put me in the mix. I had a whole game mastered. The best of the worst. This block shit is everlasting. Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <that's bar>. yes. <laughs> Thank you. That was epic. Uh, I appreciate the love, man. Anytime you want me, you can call me out the blue. You got something, I'm dropping it. Yeah. I'm going to drop bars, songs, anything. We locked in, baby. Oh, yeah, brother. I love that. Man, this has been great. Thank you. And I got you. Yeah. Anything you need to, brother, you just reach out to me. If I got, if I could do it, I got you. Definitely. Don't forget to tell moms I said. I will. Prayer. For sure. You got too, you. brother. You too. Love. Much uh, love, brother. Much love and respect. Yeah. Peace out, man. Peace. <laughs>